Hello there, my crafty little buggers, and welcome back to my messy apartment. Also, welcome to a very special episode of The Good Player. Why is it so special, you may ask? Well, because you guys helped me create this episode by commenting on this Instagram post from a few weeks ago. You had some really, really great answers. Some really brought me to tears. and I was laughing like crazy. Others were like making me kind of pissed, but that's not the point. Let's make this a game. I made a list of 10 worst players out of your answers. And I want you to name them. So the game's gonna go like this. I picked up these little dice boxes uh, few days ago from a local store, but they're very cool for modding and I intend to customize one of these boxes for the winner of this giveaway. Now, how to enter the giveaway? First, like this video. Second, you have to be a subscriber. Third, share this video on your social networks using hashtag getcrafty. And fourth, leave a comment down below. And what should be in the comment? The comment should contain your witty name to any of the 10 players that I read through in this episode. So basically, name a player and the most witty one, the subscriber that brings me to tears is going to be the winner of this little dice box. So without further ado, let's just go through the worst players that my Instagram followers have encountered. Player number one, not a specific player because I've had multiple, but people who can't understand the rule of cool aspect of D&D especially in 5e, and have to identify every potential flow in the way the DM runs combat, or uses an ability check or interprets a spell. Some things are intentionally open to interpretation and there are optional rules for a reason. Of course, this can apply to stuffy DMs too. The DM-player relationship should be one of collaboration, not confrontation. I have to agree with this, because as I said in one of the previous episodes of The Good Player, gaming is about having fun, not having fights. Keep that in mind. <laughs> player number two. Oh boy. There's the sexist, I don't have to listen to you, you're just a girl, player from my first time DMing. There's the spotlight stealer, the yells loudly while we play in public player. The I'll take the treasure player. The moved my mini off the map and ran ahead of everyone else player. The rules lawyer. The you don't use decks with your bow when I took a fee to do so player. Sadly, most of these are the same person. Can you imagine this, playing with somebody who has so many different quirks about playing? I think it's really uncomfortable. It's making people uncomfortable. Worst player number three. My paladin had a very serious moment where she had finally found her son and they had a very intense fight. And she was just seeing him for the first time in several months after having been kidnapped. This player made jokes almost the entire scene. <laughs> uh, you know, those guys who really think they're funny, but just choose the wrong time to be funny? Well, this is one of those guys, I think. Worst player number four. It was with an ex-boyfriend and his two friends. It was my first time playing D&D and my ex's friends made me feel really comfortable and they understood I hadn't played before. My ex decided 20 minutes into the game, I haven't even finished creating the character yet that I was going to slow the team down and kick me out of the Skype call. Pretentious players ruin it for others. Uh, no words. No words really. I mean, how do you invite somebody to play and then just kick them out for, I don't know, a reason that they're being a first timer or something like that? Let's just, let's just move on. Worst player number five. They never showed up despite us rescheduling to fit their life. They wanted their lightsaber handed to them instead of them going through the story to get the parts, etc. They backseat played by telling people what to do so they could do whatever they wanted and always judged people on how they played and always made new players uncomfortable. They were such a horrible drain in our campaign. Our DM banned them from other campaigns because of how horrible they made the environment. There is so much more to that player. I only played with them for less than a year, but it certainly wasn't the best intro to role-playing. But I still love it. Alright, um, 
We all encountered such players, uh, the know-it-all guys, you know. Where's player number six? The player who can't be bothered to remember anything from one session to the next and relies on other members of the group to keep track of everything for them. The player who doesn't give the DM anything to give back to them, then complains when other characters get a story arcs that don't interest them. And to a lesser extent, the player who min-maxes every character they ever create and of course, the murder hobo. Okay, we've all had dealings with murder hobos and no, just no. Th those guys just ruin it all. I mean, why, why would you kill a bartender? He, has, he serves you drinks. For goodness sake. Worst player number seven. I think that the selfish player is the worst. The one that has crafted a detailed character and only wants interactions that impact them. Only scenes that impact them. They want all the loot. They have no clue or care about the stories behind other characters. They're very difficult to handle because quite often they'll be offended when you challenge them. Uh, um, yeah, the narcissistic kinds of players. I think mm, we've all been there at some point of time. We, we, we dealt with those guys. Worst player number eight. We had a guy who liked to move other players' miniatures without permission. Just move them around to his liking. So one time my good friend said, I'm going to bite you the next time you move my mini. The guy moves his mini and my friend bites him, but he doesn't let go. We had to have three people to get my friend to stop biting him, literally pulling them apart. He never moved anyone's mini ever again. Really, this was hilarious. I laughed my buttocks off. I tried to find a very funny name for this one. It's really one of my favorites. Number nine. Me. I'm a horrible loser and even worse winner. I get mardy when I lose, but if I win, I rub it in other players' faces. Also, when I play board games, I make a story for each move I make. It drives people mad. <laughs> this was really funny because it came from a good online friend of mine. I could actually picture her doing all those things. It made it even more funny. Try to name this one. And worst player number 10. Those who don't accept the dice roll and re-roll or pretend they got a 17 instead of a 7. Sometimes it can be funny if things don't go to plan, but these players want everything to work. They may as well not roll dice. <laughs> Alright guys, I have a confession to make. And that's why I left this for number 10. I'm one of those guys. I roll one score and pretend it's another, but not because I want to cheat in the game. When you play with a lot of players, combat tends to get quite boring. And so I say that I hit, even if I didn't, only to move things along and get on with the story. Because story is actually what really matters to me. For the very end, I left a little extra. So let's call this one a uh, not so bad player. Because, well, you'll see. Let me just read through the comment. I had a player who came to try the hobby, but didn't really like it. He stayed, however, for quite a few sessions because he liked the snacks I brought for my players and enjoyed petting my dog. <laughs> I know that this was supposed to be a top 10 list, but this one was not the worst player per se. It was just funny. It was not even a player. It was a dog petter or something like that. Try to name them. Anyways, guys, we came to the part of the video where I thank you for watching and invite you to go visit my social media, Instagram and Facebook and Twitter as of late. And if you want to support me further, you can go to my Patreon page and get some cool gifts alongside being a part of this whole thing. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And as always, this is Crafty and I bid you farewell.